Here's our first example of how to calculate the standing wave in an air column inside a closed pipe. So we call this closed pipe because it's closed on one side and open on just one side. So this is what's called a closed pipe. An open pipe would be open on both sides. So again, the situation is if a uh, sound wave comes into the pipe and it bounces off the very end at the moment that we have a displacement node there, meaning the uh, displacement of the, of the air molecules at the moment is equal to zero, which means that at that moment there's the maximum pressure difference, we will have a reflection in such a way that the reflected wave is in phase with the incoming wave and therefore we have a standing wave. Also the requirement is that on the open end pipe we have a displacement antinode, which means the maximum displacement of air molecules so that, such that the pressure at that moment is equal to zero over there. Graphically, we can illustrate it with something that looks like this. So this represents what we would call the displacement. Uh, maximum displacement here, zero displacement there. And so that means that this would therefore be a quarter of a wavelength. So this is a one quarter lambda from this one end to the other end, and this would therefore be the, if it's the uh, largest wavelength, it would then be the smallest frequency. Or actually, the way to think about it is, yeah, that would be the, the resonance frequency, the way we would call it. So that would be first resonance would be obtained by having a situation like this, where we have a displacement antinode here, and the displacement node there. Now, if the wavelength, if the wave has a frequency of 200 hertz and the velocity in air is 340 meters per second, then how long does pipe have to be in order to have a situation like that? All right, uh, we can figure that out by saying that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. And if we know the frequency and the velocity, we can calculate the wavelength. So here we can say that the wavelength is equal to the velocity divided by the frequency velocity being 340 meters per second, and the frequency being 200 hertz, and I believe that this goes into that 1.7 times, so this would be 1.7 meters. That would be the wavelength of a full wave, you know, that would be the, the full wavelength. Since the length of the pipe is a quarter of a wavelength, you know, L is equal to one quarter lambda, and since lambda is 1.7 meters, then the length of the pipe to accomplish this would have to be one quarter times 1.7 meters. And so that would be, um, hmm, I think 42 and a half centimeters, if I'm not mistaken, 1.7 divided by four equals, yes, that would be 0 0.425 meters or 42.5 centimeters. So if you have a pipe that's exactly 42 and a half centimeters long, and of course there's some edge effects which we'll talk about later but we'll ignore that right now so just assume that that's a correct picture and we have a wavelength of 1.7 meters based upon the frequency and the velocity of sound then we'll have a standing wave of the first resonance existing in a pipe like that now in the next video we're going to create a situation where we have not just the first resonance but a second resonance and we'll see in just a moment what that looks like